The World Surf League WSL is the governing body for professional surfers and is dedicated to showcasing the world's best talent in a variety of progressive formats. The World Surf League was previously known as the Association of Surfing Professionals from 1983 to 2014. The organization was founded in 1976 by Fred Hemmings and Randy Rarick. In 2013, the ASP was acquired by Zosia, backed by Paul Speaker, Terry Hardy, and Dirk Ziff. At the start of the 2015 season, the ASP changed its name to the World Surf League (WSL). Sophie Goldschmidt was appointed as WSL CEO on July 19, 2017. Paul Speaker had stepped down as CEO on January 11, 2017, and Dirk Ziff acted as the interim WSL CEO until Goldschmidt's appointment. As of December 2017, the WSL had more than 6.5 million Facebook fans, surpassing more established sports such as the National Hockey League, the Association of Tennis Professionals and Major League Soccer. Sports Business Journal reported that 28 million hours of WSL digital video content were consumed during the 2017 season, making WSL the third most watched sport online, behind NFL and NBA. In January 2018, Forbes reported that the WSL had signed an exclusive deal for digital broadcast rights, with Facebook, worth $30 million over two years. History Predecessors 1964 to 1972 International Surfing Federation ISF held the World Surfing Championships as a single event every 2 years and was open to all comers 1973 to 1975 Smirnoff World Pro Am Surfing Championships occasionally referred to as the de facto professional world championship because the International Surfing Federation had been unable to establish a format or sponsorship so no official amateur championships were held between 1973 and 1975. 1976 to 1982 International Professional Surfers IPS was the original world governing body of professional surfing the predecessors of the WSL relates to what organization predominantly represented individual professional surfers at that time this is an important point because the International Surfing Federation ISF still functions to this day as the International Surfing Association ISA and also refers to competition winners as world champions or variants thereof. Topic creation of the ASP WSL Ian Cairns watched the demise of the IPS commence throughout 1982 and saw an opportunity. In January 1983, Cairns launched the ASP and lured the World Circuit organizers to the new organization, which effectively pushed aside the IPS who were left to operate only the Hawaiian Pro events. By December 1984, the ASP had sanctioned the IPS-controlled Pipeline Masters as a specialty event available to ASP members to enter for the first time. At the start of the 2015 season, the ASP changed its name to the World Surf League WSL. The WSL has remained the predominant surfing organization and sanctioning body for professional surfers since its formation. The WSL's first world champions were Tom Carroll men's and Kim Meerig women's in 1983. In March 2015, WSL launched a free downloadable app, which garnered more than a million downloads in its first year. The app provides real-time updates on competitions and provides personalized alerts, letting fans know when their favorite athletes are about to enter the water. 
In April 2016, the World Surf League introduced WSL Pure, its philanthropic initiative dedicated to supporting ocean health through research, education and advocacy. WSL Pure has contributed an initial $1.5 million in funding that will support scientists from the Columbia University Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory, as they lead research into ocean health and ecosystems, ocean acidification, sea level rise, and the role the oceans play in climate change. Equal pay for athletes in 2019 On September 5, 2018, the World Surf League announced equal pay for every female and male WSL event. CEO Sophie Goldschmidt said, This is a huge step forward in our long planned strategy to elevate women's surfing and we are thrilled to make this commitment as we reveal our new 2019 schedule. The announcement prompted a conversation about equal pay for professional athletes and the world commended the WSL for leading the way. 7X World Surfing Champion Stephanie Gilmore said, I hope this serves as a model for other sports, global organizations and society as a whole. My fellow women athletes and I are honored by the confidence in us, and inspired to reward this decision with ever higher levels of surfing. <laughs> WSL membership WSL membership is only available to individuals and a few GCs. Topic: WSL sanctioned tours. WSL Men's Championship Tour CT. WSL Women's Championship Tour CT. WSL Men's Qualifying Series QS WSL Women's Qualifying Series QS WSL Men's Longboard Championships WSL Women's Longboard Championships and WSL Junior Championships WSL Big Wave Tour Topic WSL World Title Race The WSL World Title Race is used to determine the WSL Men's World Title and the WSL Women's World Title. The winner is referred to as the WSL Tour Champion. The WSL Men's World Title is given to the surfer with the most accumulated points from their respective best nine results from the 11 WSL World Tour events. WSL Qualifying Series QS events excluded. The WSL Women's World Title is given to the surfer with the most accumulated points from their respective best eight results from the 10 WSL Women's Championship Tour events WSL qualifying series QS events excluded topic <laughs> championship tours The WSL Men's Championship Tour CT is the men's elite competition consisting of the best 34 professional surfers competing in 11 events as of 2015. The WSL men's prize money for winning a CT event is $100,000 US. 2019 event schedule Gold Coast Men's Pro, April 3–13, 2019 Rip Curl Bells Beach, April 17–27, 2019 Bali Men's Pro, May 13–24, 2019 Margaret River Pro, May 27 to June 7, 2019. Oi Rio Pro, June 20 to 28, 2019. 
J Bay Open, July 9 to 22, 2019. Tahiti Pro Tihapoo, August 21 to September 1, 2019. Surf Ranch Pro, September 19 to 22, 2019. France Men's Pro, October 3 to 13, 2019. Mayo Pro Paniche, October 16 to 28, 2019. Billabong Pipe Masters, December 8 to 20, 2019. The WSL Women's Championship Tour is the women's elite competition consisting of the best 17 professional surfers competing in 10 events as of 2015. The WSL Women Prize money for winning a CT event is $100,000 US. 2019 event schedule Gold Coast Women's Pro, April 3–13, 2019 Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach, April 17–27, 2019 Bali Women's Pro, May 13–24, 2019 Margaret River Pro, May 27–June 7, 2019 Oi Rio Pro, June 20 to 28, 2019. J Bay Open, July 9 to 22, 2019. Surf Ranch Pro, September 19 to 22, 2019. France Women's Pro, October 3 to 13, 2019. Mayo Pro Paniche, October 16 to 28, 2019. Hawaii Women's Pro, November 25 to December 7, 2019. Event results are converted to points and count towards the WSL World Title Race and the ultimate prize of being called the WSL World Tour Champion. Topic: <laughs> WSL Qualifying Series Events. A WSL QS 10,000 event is held at premium venues with a restricted field and offers WSL QS 10,000 World Rankings points. A WSL QS 1,000, 1,500, 3,000 event is a lower level of competition, compared to an WSL QS 6,000 and 10,000 event, with their importance indicated by how many points they are assigned. More points means generally better competition and prize money. Topic WSL World Ranking WSL Men's Championship Tour and WSL Women's Championship Tour surfers accumulate points from each WSL Championship Tour and WSL Qualifying Series event they compete in which count towards their WSL World Ranking. Accumulated points are valid for 12 months from the final date of the scheduled event in which they were earned. Topic: Promotion and relegation. WSL World Ranking determines the promotion or relegation of surfers. Topic: 2012 Tours. The qualifiers for the 2012 ASP World Tour Top 34 surfers was determined using a rotation points system. The qualifiers for the 2012 ASP Women's World Tour was determined by a surfer's rank at the conclusion of the 2011 Tour. The top 10 re-qualified for 2012 and the remaining 7 places were taken from the ASP Star Ranking. Topic 2013 to 2018 tours. The qualifiers for the following year's WSL Championship Tour top 34 surfers will consist of top 22 surfers from the previous season of the WSL World Title Rankings, 
top 10 surfers from the previous season of the WSL World Qualifying Series QS rankings those who haven't already qualified in the above and 2 WSL wildcards. Topic Rules Topic Judging In contests surfers will be scored on a scale of 0.1 to 10.0, these scores will be broken up into increments of one tenth. The following scale can be used to relate descriptions with the score 0 to 1.9 equals poor 2.0 to 3.9 equals fair 4.0 to 5.9 equals average 6.0 to 7.9 equals good 8.0 to 10 0 equals excellent equals topic judging criteria equals Judges will base the score on how successfully surfers display these following elements in each wave Commitment and degree of difficulty Innovative and progressive maneuvers Combination of major maneuvers Variety of maneuvers Speed, power and flow These elements may be weighted differently from day to day and event to event, depending upon on the surfing conditions and the type of breaking wave at each event location. This criterion is different from in longboarding competitions. All of this is focused on creating some type consistency that can be seen throughout the many different events. The events themselves are previously declared QS 1000 QS 10000 events. Among other things, this ranking shows what numbers of judges which are required at the event. QS 1000 QS 3000 qualifying series events are required to have a six judge panel with four judges on each heat. A QS 4000 QS 6000 qualifying series event requires seven judges with five of those judges on each heat. At QS 5000 QS 10000 qualifying series events there are only allowed to be three judges from any one region. This is then limited to two at any world championship events. All events also require an WSL-approved head judge who has the ability to make corrections to errors or any other events that may have affected the results. <laughs> <laughs> rules There are many rules out in the water that all revolve around the idea of right-of-way. A surfer has the right of way if he or she is closer to the area where the wave is breaking, this is more commonly referred to as having the inside position. If another surfer takes off in front of the surfer that has the inside position, then interference will be called, and penalties will be enacted. In most circumstances it does not matter who stood up first but who has the inside position, a surfer can also be found guilty of interference if they catch more than their maximum number of waves in a heat and that this takes away from the other competitor's ability to catch waves. A competitor is also not allowed to interfere with another competitor's paddling and maneuvering for a wave, the rules of right of way vary slightly with the type of break. Point breaks will always have a consistent direct of what is inside, that is, the person further up the line will have right of way. In a single peak situation where there is both a left and a right two people are able to be on the wave at the same time, provided that one goes left and one goes right and that neither crosses the path of the other to go one direction. If this does happen then, the surfer who stood up first will get the right of way. On a multi-peaked wave where the wave eventually comes together, both peaks can be surfed until the surfers come together. 
when they do the surfer who stood up first has right of way, and the other must maneuver to get off the wave without interrupting the other surfer. In a one on one competition, priority can be declared by the head judge. Once the person with priority has paddled for a wave priority is then turned over to the next person until that person does the same. The person with second priority can paddle for waves as long as it does not interfere with the other person who will lose their priority only if they catch a wave. A surfer who has already taken off or obtained possession of a wave maintains this position until the end of their ride. If another surfer takes off on the inside of this surfer, then this person does not obtain priority and is considered to be snaking. If this surfer does not hurt the other surfer's ride, then both people can be scored based. If the judges determine that the snaking did interfere then the person will be penalized. Interference penalties are called by the judges and must have a majority to be declared an actual penalty. Interference are shown as triangles on the scorecards in various different ways depending on when or where in the heat they were made. If three or more waves are being scored then one wave will be dropped off the score card. If only the top two waves are being scored, then 50% of the second best scored wave will be taken off. If a surfer has more than one then 50% of the best wave's score will be taken off also. The surfer who has been interfered with will be allowed an additional wave to their maximum as long as it is within the time limit. If a surfer interferes more than twice in a heat then they must leave the competition area. WSL Championship Tour Champions Topic WSL Longboard Championship Tour Champions Topic WSL World Junior Champions Topic WSL Big Wave Championship Tour Champions Topic Men's Triple Crown Champions Topic Multiple World Championships Qualifier for list is to hold a minimum of two World Championship titles across the categories. Calculations include World Championship titles outside of the WSL as discussed in predecessors to the WSL section. Topic: <laughs> Top Nations. Topic. See also International Surfing Association Surf International Authority according to the IOC, International Olympic Committee with 86 current members including USA, Australia and Hawaii surf governing bodies, ISA is trying to get 100 members during 2015 to bring surf at the Olympics Games Quicksilver Pro Gold Coast Rip Curl Pro Billabong Pro Tihapu Quicksilver Pro France Billabong Pipeline Masters Roxy Pro Gold Coast World Surf League Australasia World Surf League Europe Mayo Rip Curl Pro Portugal <laughs>